Hello? Hello? <laughs> hello, yes. Yes, hello? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Who is this? Uh, who is this? You dialed me, buddy. I dialed you? Yeah, who is this? I was looking for Alan. <laughs> this is Alan. Alan from room 16A. I told you it's Alan. And this I'm... is Frank from 12B. What uh, time is it? Who are you? I just moved in, buddy. This is Frank from 12B. I don't know who you are. I just moved in, buddy. I have no, I don't know anybody. I'm telling you to step off. Step off what? I saw you making eyes at Rosie the other day in the cafeteria. Hey, I don't know anybody named Rosie. I have not met anybody here. I ah. just moved in, buddy. Well, li listen here. Hello? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know who the hell Rosie is. I'm going to tell you this one time, and I hope you've got at least one good ear on you. Back off. I'm not doing anything, buddy. Well. You're pissing me off now. You're making me quite angry as well. Quit being a Weisenheimer. Huh? Huh? You're, huh? What? Huh? What did you say? What I did I say? I can't. What did you say? What did I say? Well, I said what I said. What'd you say? I need a that nitroglycerin pill after talking to you. Are you a Weisenheimer? What's the deal? You started this. You called me. You got all smart with me telling me to step off. Yeah. I don't even know you. Well, I'll tell you what. You're about to know me and two of my friends, right jab and left hook. <laughs> Old war buddies of mine. I'll meet you in the day room, pal. Bring it. Bring it. Yep, I'll bring it. All right. Better be packing a lunch then. Come on down. A pack a lunch? We get free lunch here. You nimrod. I've had it with you. I've had it with you scheming on I don't Rosie. Know anybody and you're starting up with me. You're scheming. It's too early for this crap. I don't know. Rosie, now well, you just leave me alone. Let me tell you, out of all the plums on the tree, Rosie's got the biggest pit, and it's all mine. You are now way out of line. That's disrespectful to whoever she is. Oh, now you're caring about respect for Rosie. I told you. Well, don't turn this now. I told you you know what room I'm in. Bring it. Who's this again? Alan, I told you that all. Albert, I, I gotta, like? I, I gotta so tell, tell you. Tell me what you look like so I can get you. I gotta tell you, bud. I called up because I thought you might be scheming on my Rosie, but the more I talk to you, the more I like you. Who out of your god mind is what you are? Alan, here's the deal. Don't tell the candy stripers this, but I run a little prostitution ring here in the home. Oh God. I don't need any part of this. I'd call in my daughter and see if I could get the hell out. I got it. Are you asking me if I'd be a prostitute? Yeah, I didn't want to come here anyway. The answer, Alan. I've had it. Ah? Calling her. Alan. Calling her and getting out. Alan, if you're asking me if I'd be a prostitute, the answer is yes. Look, buddy. That's it. I'm telling the front uh, desk uh, what's going on uh, here. Uh, you got to tell them I'm doing a prank phone Who call on you? Because I'm you? doing a prank. A prank phone call. Prank what? A prank, prank phone what? A prank phone call. So what are you saying, buddy? That's back in the core when I wasn't prostituting. I was a radio DJ doing prank phone calls. So you're a pimp that used to be a radio guy. I'm a prostitute. An aging prostitute. And I would like some respect. You get none from P16, I'll tell you that. Well, you ever hear what a 5150 is in the core? That's a uh, couple sandwiches shy of a picnic. You I don't want to go on a picnic with you. You're showing a couple sandwiches anyway. I'm, I got all my sandwiches. Get out of here. How dare you? Stop with this. Alan, this is a prank phone call. Wait, who's this? <laughs> this is... Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the morning. It's a radio show, and I'm doing a phone tap on you. What happened to the guy down the hallway for me? That's me. That was me. <laughs> it's a joke. So there's nobody down the hall for me that wants to fight. <laughs> no. Your daughter set you up for a prank phone call. She said you just moved into a retirement home. She was giving you a bad time about it.
Oh, my God. You mean my own daughter did this to me? Yes. She thought it would be funny. 